What time is it? Hey, what time is it? Do I look like Big Ben to you? Come on, I have to go before the board today. It's 8.30. Oh, Jesus, it gives me half an hour to get ready. Think I'll make it? Mm, I think you better make it. Uh, well, Mr. Smith, your record here seems to be quite impressive. Well, sir, considering I didn't do anything to begin with, I think I've been here long enough. Mr. Smith, you say you are innocent, but you were convicted of the crime, and there were eyewitnesses. Well, ma'am, they lied. Why would they lie? Well, if I knew that, I don't think I'd be here, would I? Mr. Smith, if you were paroled, you have made arrangements for accommodations and employment? Uh, yeah, I have a sister, and she has a business. And uh, you'll be working for her. Are there any more questions? Thank you, Mr. Smith. Shit. What do they know? Well, I'm beginning to think I'm never going to get out of here. Oh, come on. Don't think that way. Christ, you got to get out this time. Or else I won't ever have my own cell. <laughs> Ain't this a goddamn disgrace? I've been here for 25 years, and I can't even piss in peace. Hey, 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 Mikey. How'd you like to have some of that? <laughs> Please. Looks good, huh? I'd rather have scotch and water. <laughs> One lump of ice or two. <laughs> I thought we'd have a little drink to celebrate. Where'd you get this? Well, after 25 years, I may not be able to piss in peace, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> God, this shit is gasoline. No, it's not gas, <coughs> but it'll probably start your car just the same. Go ahead and drink up. There's plenty where that came from. This is your going away party. Yeah, well, what makes you think I'm going anywhere? Just call it a hunch. Back to more great music in just a moment. But first, this just in from our news desk. The bodies of two slain women were discovered by state police early this morning on Route 18 between Andersonville and Timber Ridge. Police are withholding the names of the victims pending notification of family members, but did report that they had each been stabbed several times. In other news, the Senate Armed Services Committee meets in Washington today to discuss... Let's go, Smith. What? Pack it up. You're out of here. Where are we going? You got paroled. Come on, what do you want me to do? Take you out to dinner? Yes! <laughs> hey, look, look here, don't be looking at me. I ain't taking your ass to dinner. You only got a few minutes to get your stuff together. If it was me, I'd be gone already. Okay, <laughs> what am I going to do first? Take a deep breath. You're not just breathing fresh air anymore. You're breathing freedom. Oh, good. The freedom speech. You know, Adam, sometimes I wonder if there is such a thing as freedom. That's cause you ain't never been without it. Yeah, what do you call their ears in this place? Oh hell, they put you away for a few years, but you've never been without your freedom. Oh, I lost eight years of my life. I'd give every year of my life for just one day of freedom. One day, without fear of anything. One day of knowing no matter what I do or where I go, people just leave me be. I never know that feeling. Hell, I can't even dream about it anymore. Adams, if there's anything I could do for you on the outside... I already told you. Take a deep breath. Let's go, Smith. You're out of here. <sighs> well, Adams, I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> you should, because I'm a great guy. <laughs> Okay, lovebird, spare me, will you? Come on, Smith, let's go. No, don't forget to write. Right. I'll read.
girlfriend or you faggot. There was money in this wallet. Well, there ain't none now. Let's go. See you real soon. I take it you got somewhere to be and it ain't here. Yeah, you, could you give me a ride? Get in. I didn't stop for a chat. Oh, great, man. I appreciate it. Thanks. My name's Mike. Mike? Huh. I had a friend named Mike once. Man, was he nuts. You ain't crazy, are you? <laughs> I don't know. I must be to be out here, right? No, no, I'm only joking. Don't worry. I know what you mean. I must be crazy, too. Philip! No, Mike. What? I said my name's Mike. And my name's Philip. You did want to know my name, didn't you? Oh, oh. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice to meet you, Philip. Hey, I'd offer you a cigarette, but I left them back there on the road. Oh, yeah? How's that? Well, I had a blowout. Just couldn't get him. Scared the shit out of me. You ever have the shit scared out of you, Mike? No, not lately. Hey, hey you got a problem? Must be losing air in that tire. Come on, take it easy. You don't want to kill us here. <laughs> Hang on! Shit! Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing? Are you trying to kill the both of us? Don't ever touch his fucking will again. I had control. Well, bullshit. Listen, you stay with this truck. Don't fucking move. No, I'm coming with you. I said stay here. Where are you going? I'm going to go check out that car. Sir, are you all right? Hello, hello. Sir? Oh, you took quite a spill there. Oh, jeez. I guess that tire wasn't low on air after all. Look, I think I've had enough of this ride. Thank you. Going somewhere? Huh, Mike? I scared the shit out of you, didn't I? I knew it as soon as you said your name was Mike. Mike's never play fair. Never, never. A game's a game, Mike. And that's what you have to understand. Just keep away from me. 
game that game, Mike! Oh, oh, shit. I can't let you leave, Mike! Scared the shit out of you, didn't I, Mike? Is wrong with you? Oh. You know, Mike, that's a very good question. You know, that, that's about the best question you can ask in your situation right now. <laughs> well, Mike, I'd like to stick around and talk a while, but I got trucker stuff to do. See you later. No! <laughs> This evening? Officer, I got a guy in the back and he's bleeding and he needs help. What the? Jesus Christ. Step out of the car! Wait a minute. You don't understand. Step out of the car! Jesus. Hands! Get your hands where I can see them! Officer, I did not do Down this. Down on the ground, face first! Oh, God. All right, pal. Freeze. Now freeze! Don't move. Not a move. Dispatch. Dispatch 252, over. Dispatch. Go on, 252. Dispatch, I've got a uh, stabbing victim here uh, requesting backup and an ambulance immediately. I'm approximately 15 miles northbound on I-95, over. 10-4, on its way. Dispatch 252, out. All right, get up. Get up. Put your hands on your head. Okay. Turn around. Face the car. You had you some fun tonight, didn't you? What'd you kill the old man for, scumbag? Ten? Twenty dollars? I did not do this! What's this for? Whittling? I pulled it out of my own hand. Shut up! Oh my god, that's him! What? That's him. That's the guy who did it. Shut the fuck up! Please, you've got to believe me. That guy's nuts. I don't we know what kind of, of shit road. you're trying to feed me, but you better shut up! We have got to get out of the road! Well, if that is the killer, we can't let him get away now, can we? Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! Step out of the truck! I said step out of the truck! Shit! I'll pull your fucking head off! Now get out of the truck! Oh, God. 
If Michael would have just played fair, none of this would have ever happened. You can have him. Let me go. What about the rules? What rules? Yeah, sure. You're just like the rest of them. You want to make up all the rules. But when it comes down to following them, you just pretend. God. Well, pretend. Me and Mr. Michael, we don't need your kind around here anyway. Come on, let me go. Don't we, Michael? Oh, God. Hey, cop. You ever had the shit scared out of you? No. Ah! Tracks heading out here too. Sheriff, we got fresh footprints leading right to these woods here. All right. For starters, let's get this area roped off. Can't do anything with the footprints till we get some daylight. Then we move. Are you boys done? Yeah, hon. Oh, it's awful what happened last night. Can we get the check, please, Deb? We gotta run. Mm, don't worry about it. So, is it true this guy just got out of prison? Where'd you hear that? On the radio. Boy, good news travels fast around here, huh? Excuse me. Can I get some coffee, please? Yeah, I'll be right there. So you guys think you're gonna really catch this nut? You can count on it. Well, you don't sound so sure. Don't worry. We'll get him. I hope so. Well, why don't you tell me what this guy looks like, and I'll keep an eye out for him. Listen, this is a police matter. Leave it to us, okay? So, Deb, what do we owe you? I said it's on me. Thanks, Deb. You're a sweetheart. I love you. If you see anybody suspicious, lock the door and call us, okay? Okay. Bye. So I'll see you about six? Hard to say. Might be late. I love this thing.
Ready for a fill-up? No, thank you. I'm fine for now. This is gonna be a long day. And it's getting longer by the second. Yes, is your sheriff in? Uh, I just missed him. Oh, that's too bad. Um, could you give him this for me? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, could I have a name or something? Uh, Dr. Ruche. Jim Ruche. Doctor, huh? Hmm. So far, the police report his whereabouts as unknown. Michael Smith, a 36-year-old man just paroled from state prison, has gone on a killing spree. Police say two men, possibly more, are involved. Investigation. This stuff gives me the creeps. Me too. I mean, here I am just passing through town, and I could be sitting next to some maniac right now. Well, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I know most of the people around here. And besides, you know, I think I could tell. How? I don't know. I think crazy people just have a certain look about them, you know? I guess you never really know people. I guess. Can I get you some more coffee? No. I gotta get going. I got a big day today. Are you a trucker? Yeah, seems that way. Where are you going? Crazy. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't I look crazy? No. You look sweet. so crazy Jesus Christ look at this thing that pheasant that flew right in front of your damn gun. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't see you kill anything. Did you kill anything? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone. I'm gonna go back and get some more shells. Now, you just wait. Okay, listen up. We're gonna cover an eight square mile radius out here today. Team B is coming in from the northwest side of the mountain. So if this guy's out there, we're going to find him. He's armed and dangerous. I don't need to remind you that Watkins died last night of his injuries. He was a good officer and a good friend. But we're not out here to get even. We're out here to apprehend the son of a bitch who did this. So let's stay awake out there, okay? All right, let's go. 263, this is 111, over. 263, man. This is 111, we're moving out. 10-4, we're out of here. Good luck. Hey! 
Want to go for a ride? I thought you had a big day today. It can wait. <laughs> well, I can't just leave the diner. Sure you can. We'll only be a few minutes. Besides, I wash the truck and everything. Come on. No, I I really can't. Okay, maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Nobody really knows anything anyway. You're really something. You set me up for your fall. Well, I'm only where you made me. I didn't have a choice. But you, you can choose. You can go for a ride, or you can stay. Ride. Or stay, stay, or ride. something. I'll call it in. One eleven, one eleven. Come in. Yeah, I'm right here. What do you got? We've got the uh, suspect's truck at the old gas station north of Johnstown. All right. We're not far from your position. You hold tight. I'm on my way. Over. Temple. Listen up. Continue the sweep and stay on your radios. I'll be in contact.
Thank you. Don't even breathe. Get up. Freeze! I guess better late than never. John and me, we're, we're going down the hill, right? And he says, well, I can make it through the pothole, no problem. And I said, no way, we're not going to make it through the pothole. That thing is huge. So, so we make halfway, and what happens? Guess. Yeah, we get stuck. Exactly. So we have to crawl out of the, the rig. We crawl through the water. He says, I got an electric winch. We can hook it right up. So we hook up the winch, tie it up around a tree, we turn it on, bang, doesn't work. Hi. Hi. What can I get for you? Uh, coffee, please. Anything else? Maybe so. I uh, was wondering if you've seen this man before. Well, yeah, he was just here. Did you talk to him? Uh-huh. He's real nice. Is he a friend of yours? Yes, we've known each other for many years. Uh, did he say where he was going? I'd like to talk to him. No, but I think he might be back. <laughs> what makes you so sure? I think he likes me. What about your coffee? Keep it warm. I'll be back. Hmm. So you like killing cops, convict? Huh? Do you? <coughs> you and your buddy aren't leaving here alive, asswipe. I told you, I don't know the guy. <coughs> Come on, Joe. He's innocent until proven guilty, remember? Looks like your lucky day, prick. 263, this is 111, over. 263, where are you, goddammit? Yeah, Sheriff, we're here. What's up? I'm about 20 minutes out. You guys find anything? Come on, talk to me! Uh, yeah, Sheriff, uh, we got one of them. You got one of them? Why the hell didn't you call it in? We just got him. Uh, I was about to call you. All right, uh, all right, okay. Listen up. You take the suspect, you put him in the car, you get every piece of evidence that exists, and you put that in the car, then you drive to the station. Are we clear on this? Yes, sir. 111 out. Jesus Christ. Back so soon. I just took a look around for my friend. Lovely area. It's all right. Would another coffee be too much to ask? Will you drink it this time? <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> Where are the restrooms? Oh, uh, they're in the back. Thank you. Well, hi. What'd you do, take the day off? Nah, I just couldn't leave someone as beautiful as you. <laughs> you can do better than that. Okay, let's get married and have babies. <laughs> well, guess what? What? Your friend is here. The old man? Yeah, he's in the bathroom. He'll be right out. We're going to go play a trick on him. Come on. Don't you want my autograph? Or would you rather make my check? Well, remember the rules, the game. You've been making the rules long enough, Stark. It's my turn now. Come on, fella. No. Fella. Right. 
right, don't you? Where do we go? Right or left? Right it is. Here we go. So what about those kids, Deb? Please. I've been thinking. Please don't hurt me. Hurt you? It only hurts for a second. What? It only hurts for a second. What are you talking about? You know, Deb, I'm giving you the answers, and you're filling in the questions, and this is getting very boring. If you would have just read the rule book, you wouldn't ask these, these stupid questions. Please, take me back. Back, back. There is no back. There's only forward. Can't you see that? Don't you understand? This is America. That's what makes America great going forward. Don't you agree? to piss me off! and I keep telling you guys I am not the man you're looking for. Well, I tell you, you work with me on this and I'll work with you. <laughs> you just don't want to listen, do you? I mean, that guy is still out there and he's gonna kill somebody. How do you know him? 
He tried to kill me. When? Last night. Look, what difference does this make? Excuse me, Sheriff. This came in for you from a Dr. Ruscha. He says it's very important. What the hell is this? Uh, Turner, would you excuse me for a minute here? Yes, sir. You know this guy? <laughs> yes. This is him. This is the killer. now on old brooks road oh jim i think i killed him hey have you called have you called no okay okay look i'm gonna use the phone okay 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 Wait right here. Where are you going? I'm going to the car to use the radio. Everything's all right. Keep yourself busy. Look, make some coffee. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people here real soon. Dispatch, this is Jim, Highway 27 at uh, the cafe. Looks like that uh, Deb's had a little run-in with the guy out here. Uh, maybe he's uh, dead. He's on Oldbrook's Road. I'm going to need some backups. So get here, right? but I like yours better. You have any idea how much one of these babies hurts? <laughs> I thought I had you too. All of a sudden, wham! Sit right there. Where's Jim? Coffee. Just what I need. A little pick-me-up. Hey, look at us. I'm serving you. I feel good about that too. Cream or sugar? Cream or sugar? Cream. Cream. Okay, cream. coffee was gonna be on me <laughs> you know what your problem is you need a little excitement in your life have you seen Michael where could he be come here stop crying just come here I said come here Did I ever 
tell you, me and Mike would go way back. My father told me, want something done right, do it yourself. Not that Mike's my father, but that just popped into my head. Hey, it's your friend's car. We're gonna go for a ride. We're gonna stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Hey, pal, sorry. No chaperones on this ride. Come on, in you go. Get in there. All right. Holy shit, will you look at all this stuff? Yeah! It's your sheriff, then. It's a matter of life and death. All right, come on. Sheriff, here's the doctor I was telling you about. He's here in your town and he's going to kill again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it. Now, you explain to me just what the fuck is going on here. Look, we don't have much time. He's going to kill a girl if he hasn't killed her already. What girl? What the hell are you talking about? The girl at the diner. Oh, my God. Deb. Turner! Get in here! Call the diner. Make sure that everybody over there is okay, then give me the prisoner. Yes, sir. Now, you've got 15 seconds to explain this. His name is Philip. Philip Holton. He's an escape mental patient. He's been loose for about a month. I'm his doctor. I've been well, hold on. For... Why didn't you stop him? Because aside from being mentally ill, he's amazingly clever. What are you trying to say? I'm just giving you the facts. Sheriff, the lines are down at the diner. God damn it! You still want me to go get the other guy? No. What other guy? We arrested another guy. We think he teamed up with your friend. That's impossible. He has no friends. His only family is me. You know, I'd like to hear about this family connection. I must see this other man. Go get the suspect. Yes, sir. And send Bart in here, will you? Yes, sir. There's something else you must realize. The only way we're going to take him alive is my way. Alive? Alive? I'm gonna nail his ass to the wall. Yeah, Sheriff, what's up? Did you see Deb today? Yeah, I saw her this morning. Check on her? Make sure she's okay. Yeah, okay, I'll go right away. Hey, I've seen this guy before. What? I saw him at the diner this morning. He was talking about the killing last night. Son of a bitch! Hey, Sheriff, you're not gonna believe this. There's some guy on the horn named Philip. Says he wants to talk to Michael. You want to pick up on that? Hello, hello, hello. Don't worry. We'll get Michael. Then go on. 10-4, Roger. Come in. Yeah, I'm right here. This is Sheriff Bolt. Now, why don't you tell me exactly where you... Whoa, whoa. Big guy. Hold on. I'm asking for Michael. Who's Michael? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, let me refresh your memory. <laughs> now, you don't want me to get nasty, do you? You better let me talk to him. He, he's not stupid. He, he knows we're all here. I don't want Debbie hurt, so you do this carefully. Hello, Philip. Hey, Doc, what's up? Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. Now, listen up. I know you're all huddled around that radio like stink in a shit pot, so I'll make it quick. I get Mike, you get the girl. You, uh, sound upset, Philip. Uh, what's the matter? Uh, don't they understand your game? Michael knows, don't you, Mike? Uh, yeah, buddy, I understand. Michael, you're really there. Man, I thought you were long gone. No, no, of course not, Philip. Uh... You should know me better than that. Should I? Find out where he is. Find out if Debbie's all right. Yeah, Philip. So where are you, huh? What do you want? Hell, Mike, I don't know where I'm at. You see, now, these woods all look the same to me. I don't know. You guys know where I'm at. You want to know something else? I'm hungry. Um, ask him about the game. The game. Debbie, is she all right? Hey, who's this? Let me guess. Can't be the guy that owned this car. He's dead. 
Oh, it must be Debbie's old boyfriend. Sorry, pal. She's left you for a better man. Philip, what do you say we just play the game? We are. You just don't know it. Then why don't we let the girl go? We don't need her, do we? Hey, Mike. It's always good to have a lady around. Besides, she's the bait. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, it's not right to hit a woman, right? I'm getting better, though. If this would have been the last time, I would have killed her. Ain't that right, Doc? What's he talking about? What's he talking about? The hell with this. I'm gonna get him. Bart! Bart! We'll talk about this later. Listen, that, that's fine, but right now, you're gonna have to figure out what it is you're gonna do. Hey, what's going on? You guys leave her what? Hey, I want to talk to the Doc. Uh, yes, Philip? Doc, you remember that game we used to play when... Uh, we shouldn't talk about that right now, Philip. Let's, uh, talk about you coming in and getting something to eat. Uh, what do you say? No thanks, I'll wait for Michael. All right, Philip, let's cut the bullshit. Where and when? You know, that's what I like about Lawman. Straight to the point. I'll tell you what. You be by that radio at 8 o'clock... And we'll do it then. Do what then? I haven't decided yet, but I promise you it'll be fun. Look, I'm out of here. See you guys later. Say goodbye, hon. I guess Cat's got her tongue. So, what do we do now? We don't do anything. I think Mike would be a valuable asset to our situation. Let me straighten you out on something. First of all, we are not working together. As far as I'm concerned, you and you are accomplices to this Philip character. Which brings me to you. Now, I want to know exactly what we're into here. Well, if I don't tell you, you'll never really know the danger. Come on, talk to me! Philip is my, is my patient. He's mentally ill. We've grown close in the past ten years. Ten years? Well, this isn't the first time he's got out. In fact, this time they let him out. Are you trying to tell me you set this psycho loose in my town? He's not a psycho. He's mentally ill. They thought he would act normal this time. He passed all the tests and examinations, so they set him free. I tried to warn them, but they wouldn't listen. So I followed him, and I knew he was playing his game. Doc, what is this game? The game is something we use at the hospital to keep the patients we're studying under control. We teach them that everything we do is a game, and each game has rules. Of course, we make up the rules as we go along. The point is the patients listen to them and follow them. So what happened with this guy? I'm not sure. He started making up his own rules, his own games. Jesus Christ. What does that mean? It means, whether we like it or not, we're in his game, and he plays to win. We taught him well, God help us. I'm sorry for what I've done to you. I never meant to hurt you. It's just that sometimes I can't help it. It's not too late, you know. I mean, you could still turn yourself All in. All I ever wanted was for him to stay. I begged him to stay. Who? He knew she was going to hurt me. She always did. He didn't care, so... You're not meant to. No one is. Did I ever tell you my parents died when I was little? And that the state figured that my grandparents would take care of me? My grandfather was okay, but my grandmother? She was a real game player. 
One of the best. She came up with the dead game. That's how we got rid of Grandpa. She said, everything according to the rules. You must play by the rules, Philip. You must play by the rules. It was a long time before the smell got so bad that the neighbors had to call the health department. I tried to tell them. I'm only going by the rules. That they weren't playing fair. Rules are so important. You know what I mean? Where did these rules come from? My head. Where else? Grandma, it's... I'll just be sitting around and a rule will pop into my head. But it's a good thing. I don't know what I'd do without them. They, they keep me going. I don't have a choice. Rules are rules. Rules are rules. But didn't anyone ever tell you that rules were meant to be broken? A year ago, I'd have killed you for saying that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... I've had enough of this bullshit. It's time to play the game. Come on. Where are you guys? Let's go. Hey, man. I'm getting tired of this. Hey, Doc. Yeah, I'm Come here. On, you guys. Doc, what is he doing? He's not supposed to call till 8 o'clock. Somebody? Come on, somebody! Hey, guys, what's going on here? That Philip character's on the radio again. Where's the sheriff? I don't know. He left, and I can't find him on the radio. All right, look, you're going to have to talk to Philip. No, no, you've got to talk to him, Michael. He'll listen to you. You're the one he wants. Hey, wait, fellas. I've got my orders. You're supposed to stay put until the sheriff gets back. She'll be dead by then if she's not dead already. Look, he's, he's going to kill her. You guys are going to wish you'd played my game. That's it. Philip. Philip. Come on, Philip. I want to play. What's he going to do, Doc? Whatever he wants to. I'll put it out on the CB. No, no, that's not a good idea. Why? It'll just give him more people to kill. Jesus, this is great. Look, obviously it's up to us. We're going to have to find them. Now, wait a minute. You guys are under arrest. Oh, right. What are you going to tell the sheriff? That you sat here and did nothing? He's right. We have no choice. Well, I'm going to go with you then. No, no. You have to stay here with the CB. Now, we'll put our, our radio on Channel 3, and if Philip calls, you patch him through, okay? He's not going to be able to know we're not at the station. That's very impressive. This is going to mean my job. It's time to get some gas. And it's self-serve, too. We need to trace his steps from where you first met. He uh, likes familiar ground. All right, I see. It's sort of like returning to the scene of the crime. Uh, something like that. Okay, just a sec. Hello? Hello, yeah, is anybody there? Um, uh, come in, please. I read you loud and clear. Yeah, we're going to head on back to where... Uh, we're just looking around. We'll, uh, call back. Hello? Hello? Doc, what the hell are you saying? It's us and him. The less the better. Listen, Doc. Now, I don't have any idea what your trip is with this guy, and I really don't give a shit. But whatever it is, your boy is going down. All in good time. Let's go! Oh, real cute. Come on. Let's go! Come on. Boy, it is getting cold out here. Don't you think it's cold? Yes, it's cold! Well, we're gonna heat things up. Grab onto that. Grab it. Don't move. Don't move. Uh, Debbie, you're getting so good. No. Hey, just hold on. I... Just relax. Stay there. Philip! Oh. Come on, Philip. Talk to me. I know you're there. Come on. Philip! Now, wait here. Right back. Hey, Doc. Right here's where he stabbed me. Do you remember anything unusual about him? Uh, anything at all? Well, I thought stabbing me was a little unusual. Look, you don't understand. Hey, Mike! Mr. Ron!
Yeah, yeah, Philip, of course. I'm right here. I'm in the... I'm in jail, remember? I remember, but you're too late. You're all too late. I just changed the rules again. Well, come on, man. That's not fair, is it? Fair. You're worried about me being unfair? Great. Is my doctor around? Yes, yes, I'm here. Hey, Doc. Listen, am I playing unfair? No. Not yet. Doc, what are you saying? You seem like... I told you. I just don't play unfair. Besides, it's my game. Ain't that right, Doc? Yes, yes, that's right, Philip. Philip, where are you? You know, I've been asking myself that my whole fucking life. Philip, is the girl still alive? The girl. You know, that depends on what your definition of living is. I've been alive for 36 years, but it doesn't feel like I'm alive. Then she is alive. Yeah, yeah, the girl is still alive. What's going on? Sheriff, I've got them on the radio again. What do you mean, them? I had to let the prisoners go. Philip was going to kill Deb. No! Ugh. Okay, listen up. I want both of you back here now. Do you understand me? Did you hear me, Doc? I'll charge you both with obstructing justice. Sheriff, no. Deputy, no. your ass is mine when this is over. Great, Doc. You had me going for someone who prides himself in fair play. You should have practice what you preach! Shit! Shit! It's over. Uh, no, Philip, it's not over yet. Uh, we've still got time to... He's gone. Would you mind telling me what's going on? They're supposed to work. Like in the movies, you know? Everything's so easy and planned. I hate movies. Hey! I hate movies. But you know what? I bet you that cop car has some gas. So this might be your lucky day, after all. Let's see what we have here. Oh, yes, the real thing. Well, I say we hop the next train out of here. Because you know, the sheriff catches up with us, he's gonna lock our asses up. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's it! Here I go! <laughs> uh, oh, yes! No! <laughs> no, don't! Yes! <laughs> oh, 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 yeah! Yeah, yeah! Where are we going? Look, I've heard the train whistle before, right? So you were right. He's going back to square one. Yeah. Sheriff? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. What? Doc, what the fuck are you doing? I told you. It's us and him. Jesus, you have no intention to killing him, do you? Only if it's necessary. Jesus Christ, all right, nobody touches the radio. Come on, baby, light my fire. I have no sense of humor. I'm pissed off. This is all Michael's fault. That stupid mother fucker. Yeah. How much further? No, I don't know. I don't know. We're going up this way, I think. It's just a little while longer. All right, here we go. All right, it's right up this road here. Oh, shit. We don't have much time. All right, here we go. It's right up here to the left. How can you be sure? Did you hear it? It's a train whistle. I remember it. I heard a train. Right up here. Oh my 
God. Too late. He can't be far. He's on foot. Hey, Doc. You got it right for once. How you doing, Mike? This is my game. My rules. I only let you think you were making the rules, Doc. Uh, that's very good, Philip. I, I think it won't be long before you can leave the hospital for good. Never. Forget it. Forget the hospital. I ain't never going back, Doc. Never. Philip, don't start with me. Now kill these two and let's get out of here. We're going. You're crazy. You're crazy. Wait a minute, Philip. Philip, what about the game? Now don't start that. Philip, Philip, you told me we were going to be partners. We're too smart for that. I told you. Wait a minute. What is this we shit? You told me you were willing to kill him yourself. Philip, you know better. You told me that the game was just a joke, that it was a way of controlling Philip shut like a puppet. Fuck off! Now shut up. We're going. Well, of course he doesn't believe that. I told you you can't win, Michael. I told you that. You see what I mean, Philip? He tells you what you think. He tells you what to do. He controls you, Philip. You just believe you're controlling yourself. Doc, I trusted you. I fucking believe you. What's going on? Look! Look at the girl. She's still alive. What's that tell you? I knew you wouldn't kill her. See? You're getting better already. Michael's right. You know, I think you're fucking with me, Doc. She's still alive. I want to know why I didn't kill her. You're fucking with my rules. Oh, Philip, that's not true. It is true. She's been using me. Just a guinea pig to you. All right, look, Philip. Why don't we just let these two go, and you and I will just go somewhere. We'll just play the game, all right? You mean that, Mike? You really mean that? For a while. Okay. You know, I'm getting really tired of killing anyway. Okay, let's no, go. No, Philip, no! You must come with me. You must kill these two and return with me to the hospital. Kill them now! No, why don't you kill us? Why does he always have to do your dirty work? Let's go, we must hurry. Mike, move back! Come on, move back! Tip, get up! Get up, get up. Tip, Mike, get together. There you go. Real good. Rules. Rules. Kill me, Doc. End the game. Philip, put that gun down. Kill me, Doc. End the game. You stupid, stupid boy. Kill now I'll have Doc. to kill all of you. And I won't have any trouble convincing the authorities that it was you. Oh. <sighs> Okay, Philip. Philip, just give me the gun. I won't be needing it anymore. You can have it. No! It's okay, buddy. The game's over. Yeah. I'm not sure who won. You? Or me? So, where to now? Oh, I don't know. If, uh, if you need some work, I think we could probably find something around here for you. <laughs> Thanks, but I think I'd just as soon get on out of here. Well, you suit yourself. You're free to do what you want. Am I? Take a deep breath. You're not just breathing fresh air anymore. You're breathing freedom. 